Hello everyone! Yes, we are finally back in Rose Scale Sandbox. Now, I know it has been a while. I have been busy, but I am here and I have some very, very ooh, fun stuff planned for today. First of all, a lot of you may have noticed that the castle, yes, is incomplete. So first of all, we quickly need to go and fix that. Starting around here, where I also seem to have forgot the um, the castle wall top along here. Let's just bring this to side. In fact, I might continue it all the way along. And then all we need to do is add the crenellations along the top. Now, moving swiftly onto this front section, I want to build a really nice big sort of main tower. Um, and the first thing I want to do to start that is sort of make this area a little bit larger up here. So I've just brought this slab up to act as a sort of base for this tower. Now I'm going to add a turret at each of the four corners and make sure they've got walls in between them. However, I don't want them to come up all the way. Now we need to put a border on each of these four turrets. Ah, I think this is starting to take shape now. Now I just need to put a couple of bases on these turrets just to finish off the bottom. There we go. That that is starting to look really nice now. Now we just need to add some crenellations along the top here as well. And now we can add the final details, such as arrow slits, some tops for the roofs that, of course, are going to be this really nice wooden color we have going on. All right, so it is the next day. I have been busy. Uh, as you can see, I have finished off the castle. I think I wanted to do it off camera and quickly just because I, f oh, I feel like it was dragging on for way too long and there are other things that I want to do today. Um, so yeah, I managed to raise up these roofs really nicely um, and I got a nice little window on the front here. But that is not all that's changed if you may have noticed. My avatar is different. I finally managed to get my avatar in the actual Roblox catalog in from Adopt Me. So this is this is my avatar from now on. We're, we're fi finally glad I found it. Um, so we're going to be continuing uh, like this for the rest of, uh, well, forever really. So someone suggested to have a narrow gauge railway along the top of the mountain. Now I'm going to sort of take that idea and sort of expand on it a little bit. What I want to do is bring this railway round into a station where it meets a narrow gauge railway which will take people from the big station down at the bottom of the valley up to a station up here at the castle so people can come and sort of enjoy the castle um, and enjoy all its heritage. So that is what I'm planning on doing over the next couple of episodes. So first of all, we need to expand this lovely massive base plate that we're working on so we have enough room. Then we can start to extend the track. And now I want to make quite a large sort of base of where the station is gonna sit on. Because remember, we are gonna have the narrow gauge railway lines coming in so we are going to need quite a lot of space for platforms speaking of platforms let's place some in it actually would be really nice if this was extendable but it's not in fact we're definitely going to need a larger area than that so i'm just gonna pull oh hello pull this out a bit there we go and then you guessed it more platform now i'm just gonna put the track along the platform like that Oh, nice and straight. There we go. That's nice. Now I know where I can place the other side of the platform. I'm going to try and make this bit of terrain match the platform. And hopefully then I can make quite a large platform without having to continually place it over and over again. Well, that's my first try. That's pretty close. We're getting closer. Oh, that is so close now. I think that is pretty pretty much perfect. That's as close as I'm going to get. Um, so now let's just copy this onto the other side. I, and I just want to get a long strip and color it just straight up black and make sure it's a just a sort of metallic metallic texture. So then we get a dividing line. Yeah, that looks so much better. Yes, there we go. Okay, so we're starting to get the beginnings of a station here. Um, but anyway, that is all I have time for today. We shall continue with this station next episode. It has taken me a very long time to finish this castle. I did quite a lot of stuff off screen. Um, but if you did enjoy it, make sure to subscribe and I will see you again next week. Goodbye.